has travelled 360 miles from Wellingborough to Dumbarton. It's half past six in the morning, so I thought before I go and wake John and Peter up, I'll just do a little bit of filming down by the River Leven, which runs into the River Clyde. going a little bit away from the river I'm going to have a look in this lovely park Right, we have walked a little bit through the park and there's the big wide open space. The park is, well that's all the park area and we've come down now to the actual River Clyde. The tide is out so it looks a little bit on the murky side but um, quite pleasant this morning, seven o'clock now. Well, that's looking north along the Clyde and that's where it goes and out to the estuary past Rothsay and we swing right the way round and just coming into view now is Dumbarton Castle Rock which we've visited and been right up the top of there two or three times I think the last time we came I took all still shots. This has got to be some kind of war memorial, but I um, don't know, elephants, Asia, India, India, I just, I really don't know, there's nothing here to tell me. Right, as I come around the corner, I see 1914 and I'm going to presume if I look round the other corner, 
I'm gonna find 1918 maybe yep there you go 1914-18 war so that's what it's all about then and this is right on the banks of the River Clyde at Dumbarton just across the River Leven from Dumbarton Castle Rock little bird there looking for its breakfast it's a thrush So just to recap, that's the Clyde going north towards its estuary. The River Clyde there. The River Clyde going that way to Glasgow. And once upon a time there would be huge ships going up and down the Clyde. And there we have Dumbarton Rock. To, that part, of the, part of the castle is still there, it's quite interesting and a hell of a climb to go to the top. And then we've got the River Leven and just through the trees there, which we're going to go and have a look at, is Ballantyne's Distillery, uh, which used to make beautiful scotch but they're now knocking it down. I don't know how far they've got since I was here last year but we'll go and have a look. It's a sad day when they have to knock a whiskey distillery down, isn't it? The last I heard, they had to stop the work because they were doing damage to the church which stands next to the distillery. Well, actually, what I've just showed you was not part of the distillery. We're now looking across the river, leaving to the distillery. I've got a little bit muddled up there. You can see the church in the background. Well, I hope you can. It's a bit difficult because I've got backlight, but we'll go in a little bit closer and have a look at this. Uh, John and Peter's father used to work here. a pretty sight is it when a place gets into demolition mode but uh, the river is nice with all the boats back to where we parked the car. That's the old bridge at Dumbarton over the River Leven and this river flows out of Loch Lomond which is only four miles up the road. 
So uh, no doubt we'll be going and having another look at that. There's a lot of midges or gnats or whatever, I don't know whether you can see them. Right, this is day two on my June trip to Scotland. This is John and Peter's house and there's my vehicle parked down there and I'm just going to take you round within a few hundred yards of their house and show you some of the scenery that they've got in this area. Well that's Glebe Park where John and Peter live. There's their house there and they used to live in this street just round the corner which is St Andrew's Crescent. This is the, just going down a bit, down St Andrew's Crescent a bit to show you the view over the town from this area. looking towards the River Clyde and Dumbarton Rock. And here I am now standing high up on the bank with St Andrew's Church behind me overlooking Dumbarton. That is the, that's the big roundabout. Um, to the right you go uh, four miles and you'll be on Loch Lomond and go straight ahead and you go down to Dumbarton Town Centre. Finally, that is looking towards Loch Lomond. Loch Lomond is to the right of those high hills behind the house and the tree there. So that's it from up here on Glebe Park area. This is the southern end of Loch Lomond at a town called Ballock. We're about four miles from John and Peter's house. There's a bit of vibration on this bridge because of the traffic. Um, we're going to do some walking around this area, so just enjoy the scenes that I film.
hope you've enjoyed this walk around the southern end of the banks of Loch Lomond where it goes into the River Leven and um, we'll see you again another day. Right, so I'm going to come in here now because uh, those boats, or ships, <laughs> boats, 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 those boats were ships, get it right, those ships were entering Gare Lock and going up to Gare Lock Head where there is a top secret um, navy base, uh, all to do with nuclear stuff. Uh, don't know very much about it. I know there's a lot of protests up there. Anyway, thought you might be interested in that. Ships passing in the day instead of the night. I said that on my slideshow as well. Uh, we're now in this glen. I forget the name, but I did show it at the very beginning of this piece of film. And uh, this is between Glencoe and um, Rannochmore, if you know where that is on the road to Fort William and uh, this is a glen that I've never travelled along before um, beautiful scenery unfortunately it is a bit miserly with rain but it creates some beautiful scenes with the clouds floating round the hill and mountain tops and this is uh, just a few minutes travelling along in the car as uh, myself and John and Peter and um, quite a bit of, we'll call it scotch mist, it's drizzle really.
move, move, moved, moved. <laughs> We've now moved down back across Rannoch Moor, and we are in Glen Glen Orkey. That's where we are now. PJ and myself and June have been here many times, and it's always a sight worth filming. Enjoy. These are the falls of Fulloch at the top end of Loch Lomond.
the pictures you've seen so far from Dumbarton Rock have been taken round the lower level. I'm now going right up to the very top of the Castle Rock. shaky was it? Well up on top of the rock is this uh, directional uh, engraving which has been there oh, <laughs> as long as I can remember. The rock is, uh, the castle rocks reputed to be the oldest castle in Great Britain and uh, it's about 300 feet up to the top very steep climbs and that's why you could hear me puffing a little bit uh, but uh, fantastic views right along the River Clyde and this castle stood uh, guard and has stood guard over the entrance uh, to Ward Glasgow um, it seems to me though that where they positioned the cannons they're facing Dumbarton which seems a bit strange. I would have thought they'd have been facing um, along the River Clyde to stop any invaders coming along the river. But there you go. Um, it's it's just lovely up there, and that is the old brewery down there that they're de um, demolishing. And um, well, what else can I say? Beautiful. Scotland has finished and I'm now in the Lake District, the Southern Lake District and I'm overlooking the town of Kendal where they make Kendal mint cake. It's been lovely and sunny but it's come over all cloudy now and I'm making my way to the Ribblehead Viaduct on the Settle and Carlisle railway line and uh, this tonight and tomorrow night I'll probably stay with our friends Jason and Pam in Burley and Wharfdale near Leeds. Well I've just moved along the road a little bit so that we can look along that valley uh, northwards or northwestwards towards the lakes like Lake Windermere, Ambleside and so on. Right, we're at Oxenholm Station, which is an old Victorian station where there's a branch line that went down to Ambleside. I don't know whether it's still in operation or not, but I was just curious and wanted to come here to have a look at the station. There's another train in the station already. I didn't realise so many trains stopped here. And here's another one coming round the bend. Whether this is a train that's going to stop or not, I really don't know. 
These trains are called Virgin Voyages. for the other train to come but I think this one's going first no here's the other one that was in the other platform received some information from an elderly couple. He also is retired and was a decorator. the couple over there who have just given me all the information that I need to know to walk around this place.
finished the walk along the river, we're now going to have a look round the town. a train. No time not even to set up my tripod.
very breezy. It's a little bit on the cool side and I don't know what trains are coming, what I'm going to see or anything but I'll try and get another couple of shots up here on the hills and then I shall go under the railway bridge and see if I can get some more shots the other side of the viaduct. Okay? train so I've come over here to the east side and we'll see we'll stay here for a while and see if anything comes okay quite amazing isn't it very long container wagon train there going across the viaduct and um, skies lovely sun's out nice and warm beautiful in some of the scenery.
said rain was expected, it's now 10.44 on this Friday morning and uh, I've driven down near Keithley and got a load of petrol or a dollar per petrol and I'm now back up on the moors going across to Addingham and um, it's a little bit on the wet side there as you can see it's not actually bucketing down but um, it's not as good as what it could be so I don't know what we're going to do next I just haven't got a clue Right, we are now back at Burley and uh, it's not raining that much so I thought I would get out of the car with my brolly and take a walk down to the waterfall so I'll do that unless of course it starts bucketing down because all I've got on is my shorts but then again it'll give me legs a wash won't it? Okay. Okay, so we're under the brolly. There's the brolly, look. There you go. And that is a day school for boys at Burley. And it looks as if they're going to have something on this weekend. And we are going to walk along there. That's an aeroplane taking off from Leeds Airport one of the major Midland airports I suppose although it's a bit north for the Midlands we'll call it Yorkshire airports they're taking off all the time they are trees there as far as I am aware that is part of the school you can see there that it is raining but it's lovely down here peace and quiet the odd birds singing and we're right down near the waterfalls now so we'll take you and uh, have a look. 